I've always wanted the best for Macy. Uh, she's had some that weren't the best, um, and I knew it, but you know, as a parent, just like let them work through their problems, their issues, to have them come back to finding what they really want and deserve. The friendship that y'all have, never lose. Just, just remember this day, go forward, just live, laugh, and love forever. Grow together and be each other's best friend. And I love you both. And Corey, welcome to the family. I will always look at you like another sister, and I will always be there for you no matter what. I have seen you when you are at your lows, been there with you through heartbreak, but I can honestly say I have never met or I have never seen you more happy than you are with Corey. And for that, I want to thank you, Corey. Thank you for putting a smile on her face all the time. I just want to leave y'all with this. Let all you do be done with love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Live by this because at the end of the day, nothing can break the unconditional love that y'all share. The moment Corey started talking about Macy, I knew he was head over heels for it. To see how happy y'all are shows the true love y'all share. I want to wish you guys true happiness and good luck to you and your growing family. I was a boat stuck in a bottle That never got the chance to touch the sea Just forgot on the shelf No wind in the sails Going nowhere with no one but me I was one in a hundred billion A burnout star in a galaxy Just lost in the sky Wondering why everyone else shines out for me But I came to life when I first kissed you The best me has his arms around you Can make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours I was a worn out set of shoes Wandering the city streets Another face in the crowd, head looking down, lost in the sound of a lonely melody. An empty pocket set of roulette, always landing on a lost bed. Just live for the spin, hope for the wind, go all in just to lose again. But I came to life when I first kissed you. The best me has his arms around you. Make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours The worst me is just a long, long memory You put a new heartbeat inside of me You make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours oh. Stuck in a bottle But never got the chance to touch the sea But I came to life when I first kissed you The best me had these arms around you You make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours A wedding is that occasion when a man and a woman public proclaim their love and declare their commitment to one another. By its very nature, it is both a solemn and happy event. For some of you gathered here, this ceremony will prompt a flood of personal memories. For others of you, it will set in motion dreams and aspirations. For all of us, it will be a sharing in a most intimate and love-filled moment in the lives of two people we know and appreciate. But for Corey and Macy, who stand here before us, this ceremony will be an act of participation in what they believe to be God's will for their lives. 
They are both pleased and honored that you have responded to their invitation to share this happy and sacred moment with them and are prayerfully that the blessing of the Lord our God will be upon us as we assemble here. There's a qualifying factor that we should all understand when we come together for a wedding. And you'll see the signs in the aisles. And that's the character of the Lord Himself. And I'm going to read you this verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And these verses were not meant for actually for a wedding. It was for meant for people who were maturing that were joining into the church and being born again by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what this verse is mean. That God's character is supposed to be in our lives as we live, especially in marriage. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity endeth not. Charity bondeth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, endureth all things. And that's the way God feels about us. He believes in us, He trusts us, and we in turn, we trust Him with our lives. The idea of a father giving his daughter away may seem archaic today. But the principle underlying the ancient statement is still valid. The book of Genesis tells us that a man leaves his father and his mother and cleaves to his own wife. Mother and, and the mother and the father yield their position to their daughter's life and with their consent give blessing to this marriage. With this understanding, who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do, her mother and I. Cora, do you take Macy as your wife, as your companion and best friend? Do you promise to treat her with love and devotion, honor and respect? To stand by her during the triumphs and the tragedies of life as faithful and a caring husband? I do. Macy, do you take Corey as your husband, as your companion and best friend? Do you promise to treat him with love and devotion, honor and respect, to stand by him during triumphs and tragedies of life as a faithful and caring wife? I do. The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity. It is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond, which it unites two hearts in endless love. And now as a token of your love and of your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, you, Corey, can place a ring on your bride's finger. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my faithfulness to you. And my faithfulness to you. By the same token, Macy, you may place a ring on your husband's finger. And repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Macy Jordan, I promise to love you the way that you deserve to be loved. Loved the way that I always knew I loved you even though I was scared to commit to it at first. <laughs> Finally committing to that love was the best thing I've ever done in my life. I know, I know it from the first time I laid my eyes on you that day in the hallway at school. Ever since the day I got to hold you in my arms in your driveway and we talked for hours. I promise to always be there for you and for our family and to be the one that provides for us. I promise to always protect you and to always put you first and give you everything you may need. I promise to stick with you through thick and thin and no matter what the world throws at us. 
You are the love of my life, May. And I can't wait to live this wonderful life with you and grow old with you Amen. from this day forward. I will forever be able to say that I'm spending every day of my life with the woman of my dream. <laughs> to the man I fell completely in love with. I knew from the moment I met you, Cora, you were the one. You may, may have been hard to get at first, but as soon as you let yourself love, you have loved like nothing I've ever felt before. You found me in a rough spot in my life, and you picked all my broken pieces up and put them back together. You have truly made me a new person. You are the better part of me. I thank God for you every day. I promise to love you always and forever, to be your best friend, to be the mother of our children, I promise to never go to bed angry, to communicate with you and not shut down, and to stand by you in every stage of life. You have my whole heart, Corey Shane, and I vow to love you now till forever. Now by the power vested in me by God and His church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Corey, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Corey Macy Hunt. So glad y'all got married. Um, y'all always be true to each other and don't let anybody come between y'all. Um, always talk th things out. Nothing's ever too bad that you can't work it out. Um, just you'll, you'll be so happy um, after years and years together that you made it that far and you can do it. Your parents did it. We're doing it. Y'all can do it. We got faith in you. We love y'all. Macy and Corey, we love you. Corey, I thank you for being such a wonderful man, taking my daughter and loving her. Treat her well. Love her always. Keep her safe. We love you guys. We love y'all. <laughs> <laughs>